What's up everybody, Michael Carry On here, back again with another Carry On TV. This one being the Tunai and Tastemakers edition. So I don't know if anyone knows what Tunai is, but it's essentially a group of young individuals that dedicate their life to music and art, and most importantly, grinding. Tunai was able to open up its very first boutique full of its own clothes and others as well. And uh, I got lucky enough to interview the founders of Tunai. Exilla, MP, Mont Power. What's it? What's good? So you, you guys started a clothing company way back. How, how old would you say you guys were? Oh, man. We we're like 16. 16 years old. And how old are you now? We're both 21. 22. You're both 21 I mean, and 22. 22. my bad. And what was that company called? Tunai. Tunai. What does that mean, Tunai? Tunai. In Tagalog, it means uh, real or true. True to yourself, basically. So, so it started off, you know, artwork on shirts, spray painting up shirts, wearing them, trying to get people to wear them, trying to sell them. Acrylic paints, though. Yeah. Hey, acrylic paints are your nods. Oh, <laughs> hey, <no. laughs> Yeah. So um, so a couple years later, a bunch of shows later, a bunch of music later, a bunch of art later, you, you guys uh, opened up your own store. Yeah. How's that feel, being so young, and uh? Yeah. On some real shit though, like, I mean it's a big thing, but we still like the same old kids. You know? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. We're still little kids. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Just more responsibilities. Yeah. yeah. How many how many little kids you know own their own store though? <laughs> Still though, we got a lot to learn, like much more room to grow. And this is only like the starting point, you know, of being a, a true entrepreneur or whatever. What's the address of the joint? 1041 oh, South Virginia, Reno, Nevada, 8952. Come through. So you guys, uh, you guys were just doing a, doing a school thing, had, had your day job to make money for school. And uh, which was doing pretty well for you guys. You guys both worked together at an optometry spot, right? Oh, all day. Yeah. Everybody, man. And what happened to that? Shit. We had to quit to do this, man. Yeah, full time. exactly. So you just up and quit your job. Yep. And uh, opened up a store. <laughs> That's what's up. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, this this store that you guys opened it is in it is in Reno, Nevada, right? Yeah, the BL City. Why Reno? Battle born and bred. That's us. us. So you're born and raised in Reno. This is your bread and butter. Yes, sir. That that is what's up. So it's only proper to open up one over here. And and in the Cali world, would you say that there's plenty of this going on? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. The thing about Reno and the culture here, it's a uh, it's pretty untapped, and uh, it's like five years behind. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. We've been going to Cali and shopping in boutiques since we were in high school. We take like one day trips just to get a shirt, <laughs> just to get a belt, just to get some shoelaces. Just and get some shoelaces. You know what I'm saying? And, and now, now it's, it's, it's time for the people of our city to get that opportunity just right here. We'll be the first in Reno to do this, but I mean, we want to do something just as big that anybody that already has a boutique in the area would still want to come to us, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I could see like, definitely people come from all over to come through Tastemakers, cause I mean, I ain't seen nobody doing it out here like this. Your grand opening was when? It was April 7th, and last Saturday. <laughs> like, just a couple days ago? Yeah. <laughs> and really, it's just uh, a lot of the homies, a lot of Tunai, the fam getting together and helping out and stuff. Hell yeah, without them, it's like, there's no us. What can we expect from Tunai and, and, and the IC3 fam for the next uh, from the next year? Big things. Ooh, a lot. Yeah. We're trying to do four major events in four different cities. What cities are you trying to hit? First, we're in San Francisco. After that, San Jose. Next, San Diego. Finish off in Reno. And uh, yeah, that should be something we should accomplish before 2013, before we all die. Who can we see, who can we expect to see at these uh, events? Variety, such as Jeff Burnett. Jeff Burnett. 
Michael Carry on himself. Michael Carry on himself. EP and Esther. EP and Esther. Killer Cass. Killer Killer Cass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hopefully you, know, you can come out. Come I, I wish you could come out. We out here. Sink. What a dookie. That's Gucci. <laughs> Gucci. Hey, put some freestyle real quick. Yo. Damn, <laughs> I'm about to freestyle. Don't ever put this on, so I will do it. I'm on phenomenal. So, yeah, basically, if you ever chilling with any 2 night fam, you can definitely count on way too much freestyling going on, and you do not want to hear what we were saying during this. But, um, yeah, man, I, I mean, damn, it's about time for 2 night to blow the hell up. There's way too much talent for us not to be saint out here on these streets. So uh, continue to support, continue to love, stop by Reno, taste makers, buy a shirt, buy my album, buy Jeff Burnett's album, buy some socks. You know, we just out here trying to grind, trying to do what we love. And uh, I know that what we're doing is true and real, and that's what Tunai is. <laughs> Shout out to IC3, Tunai. Cap 2, we doing it, we out here. Michael Carry On, buy his album. <laughs> One more thing. Yo, artists, uh, fucking anybody wanna hook up, get some shirts done, let us know. That's what's up. The store, the store's actually closed right now though, right? It's closed, it's hella closed right now, cause. It's hella closed right now. <laughs> we closed as fuck right now. <laughs>